And so the thoughts that we tell ourselves, right, that we're not enough. You said something that struck me. Um, daughters get their intellect from their fathers and sons get them from their mothers. Is there anything you can share with me about that? Because I'm, I'm curious to know a little bit more where that comes from and how you came to that. Well, with with just me and my curiosity, try, I'm always trying to figure out my family, mm -hmm. the roots, how we come from, and even how we're developed in a way that how we go after life. And I'm the first in my family to finish high school, okay. college, and university, right? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't understand if I... If my mom couldn't help me how to read and write, mm -hmm. then how, why do I deserve to even go the length that mm -hmm. I that I'm desiring? Got it. And so I started to realize that I don't take after her in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. But because I don't know my father's performance in school, mm -hmm. just by you know his ignorance, I know him as. I realize when. I show up in the world. I, I, I feel it inside of me that this has to be my dad. Right. I feel like I am performing in my dad's genes of some sort compared okay. to my mom, because I've only known her to be very depressed, very miserable, isolates herself. And she never takes chances. Mm -hmm. I know my father's a risk taker. So after having my children and realizing how they developed, I realized that my son takes after me to a T in a sense, his personality, his intellect. Um, he's a visual learner like myself. My daughter, who takes after her father, so much to the point that they think alike. Oh, it's wow. scary to watch. It is really <laughs> scary that I had, I had to learn. I've learned so much more about my husband through my daughter. Mm. So men struggle a lot with expressing their emotions. Yeah. And, and so she struggles when she has to express her emotion. I'm like, how is that? How, how is it that this child is so much like her father? Right. right? But you can't tell her that. She says she's exactly like me. Yeah. But I've done, I've read books and I've, and I've listened to documentaries on, you know, just the development. And even in school, I had to learn the development of a, of a child how when the baby's born based on the manners and in the behavioral mm. and how they adapt and how they take after their bloodline. Right. Mm. And so I, I start to look at everyone in my family, look at how my grandmother responds when she's showing up as her best self versus when she's uncomfortable and thinks she's not enough. Mm. Very much like her, her daughter, her daughter shows up that way, right. but I didn't get to know my grandfather, mm. her father, right? How he showed up in the world, right. but I only heard stories. So I look at the generations of how they were intellectually, intellectually and their behavior. Right. I study behavior very, 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 very much in the sense that the nonverbal is what I pay attention yeah. to. Not much the words. Yeah. Yeah. Because how we how we respond, and that's why I always tell people, someone could be depressed, but you can never know how, how bad they're doing. Yeah. Because we all look the same. Yeah. We all do the same. We continue to work and continue to smile and do what is accepted in society. So I say all that to say that I've done a lot of reading, and I'm, I've looked at my genetics, mm -hmm. and being a mother has helped transform me into seeing things at a whole different level yeah. and also encourage me to break the cycles of what I know with my family and what I now want my children to no longer to learn, to unlearn. Man. So it's, it's not just healing me. I've done a lot of work to break some generational cycles of behavior.